bestbookbits.com brings you the book summary of No More Mr. Nice Guy by Robert Glover. We've all heard the saying, nice guys finish last. And when we think of nice guys, we often have a clear picture in our minds. A nice person who is just a little out of luck. An adorable loser has nothing but good intentions, waiting for his turn to get lucky. Dr. Robert Glover shows us that the truth looks a little different. It is true that nice guys usually don't get what he wants, but he is not adorable. He is not even nice. He is a passive aggressive and can terrorize his social environment through his own forms of manipulation. And while this might sound harsh, Dr. Robert Glover explains in detail why this is the case and most importantly, how men can get rid of their nice guy syndrome to live a more integrated and full life. An absolute must read for everybody who identifies himself as a nice guy but who doesn't see becoming a jerk as an appropriate solution. And thanks to Dr. Robert Glover, you don't have to be either. If you're looking for a healthy model of masculinity and a plan for how to get what you want in business, dating, and sex without manipulation or over-aggressiveness, this book will provide it. About Dr. Glover. Dr. Robert A. Glover is a licensed marriage and family therapist by professional and author of the book, No More Mr. Nice Guy. He's a frequent guest on radio talk shows and podcasts and is often featured in other major publications. He helps men shake the nice guy syndrome through workshops, online courses, therapy groups, consultations, and blog posts. Through his work, he has reached thousands of men and helped them live an integrated life and avoid mediocrity. Highlights. In the first part of the book, Dr. Robert Glover describes in detail what a nice guy is and how he operates. Unfortunately, for the nice guys, they won't reach their goals through their methods they apply, which are in fact very likely to do more damage than good. Later in the book, Dr. Robert Glover delves into the nitty gritty and shows us how to get rid of the nice guy syndrome and offers a healthier solution. So without any more fluff, here is the Men Improvement book summary of No More Mr. Nice Guy. Why a nice guy isn't a nice guy. Before we really get started, let's define for our purposes what typical nice guy symptoms are. Often, a nice guy is a giver, fixer, caretaker, approval seeker, and conflict avoider. The nice guy will go to great lengths to hide mistakes and flaws and will always seek the right way to do things. He often represses his feelings and has difficulty making his needs a priority while making his partner his emotional center. The interesting thing is, a nice guy is defined not by his actions, but by his beliefs. Nice guys believe that if they are good, giving and caring, they will be happy and fulfilled. Unfortunately, this often isn't true. And when a nice guy doesn't get anything back on his investments, he becomes resentful. So far, so good. But why aren't nice guys nice? There are other traits that characterize a nice guy. He is dishonest and says what he believes people want to hear. He hides his true intention. He uses manipulation instead of asking for what he wants directly. He is controlling. He only gives to get and gets frustrated when he isn't appreciated. He is passive aggressive and full of rage. He can't set boundaries and say no. These traits make it impossible for a nice guy to live a fulfilled life. And as you can expect, it is very unlikely that any partner will be happy in a relationship with a nice guy for very long. So how do you get out of your not-so-nice ways? Become an integrated male. A very common pattern when we want to change a situation is to do the exact opposite of what we've done before. This is why nice guys often go through a phase of douchebaggery where they become a complete jerk. But we all know being a jerk is nothing to strive for. The goal must be to become an integrated male. But what does such a man look like, and more importantly, what's the mindset of an integrated male? He has a strong sense of self and likes himself. He takes care of his needs. He is comfortable in his masculinity and sexuality. He's a leader. He values integrity. He expresses his feelings in a very direct fashion. He sets clear boundaries and sticks to them. He is not afraid of conflict. He accepts his flaws and being imperfect. The core principle of an integrated male is authenticity. Authenticity is not only speaking your mind in any given situation, it's also going for what you want. Your thoughts, words, and actions are all congruent 
and you are living the way that you think and say you should live. Being authentic, being comfortable in your masculinity and sexuality, being honest and having clear boundaries will get you the respect from some people and the hate from others. Unfortunately, our society wants to restrict us from being that kind of man. People will call you egotistic for having a strong sense of self and taking care of your needs first. They will call you arrogant for liking yourself. They will call you rude when you are honest and when you express your feelings directly. They will call you intolerant and unable to compromise for sticking to your boundaries. People will talk a lot and you won't listen. It doesn't matter what people think. Most of them are miserable and hate their own lives. So it should come as little surprise that they criticize yours as well. All that counts is living an integrated life. If it helps you, just remember that people usually dislike what they fear or envy. People usually dislike what they fear or envy. It is not about you, it's about them. And don't forget, while a lot of people will dislike you, they will respect you. And you'll become more attractive to people that really matter, such as family, friends, colleagues, and potential partners. An authentic man who can love himself is rare, and no matter what people think of you, they will not be able to help but respect you. Learn to please the only person who really matters. Dr. Robert Glover asked one of those questions every person should ask him or herself at least once in a lifetime. If you didn't care what people thought about you, how would you live your life? He also asked this question in the context of the relationships. If you weren't concerned with getting the approval of women, how would your relationships be different? As Dr. Glover says, if you're seeking to be the best version of yourself, you can never become a D in headlights, or you can never defend, explain, excuse, or rationalize your actions. When you're living for someone else, you will often feel the need to do one of the above things to explain why your actions were not in their best interest. However, you need to remember that their actions are never in your best interest. You have to make yourself a priority and live your own dreams and desires. This isn't to say that you should intentionally harm anyone or do things that would cause others pain. But if it comes down to taking the promotion to please your friends and family, or packing up and pack pack in the world to please yourself, always go with what will leave you happy and fulfilled. Make your needs a priority and reclaim your personal power. Realize that no one but yourself is responsible for meeting your needs. Stop blaming and start taking actions. Be assertive about your needs and get rid of the hidden agenda. Never be a wimp and never act like a victim. You should even be thankful for different situations as those present a chance to grow as a person. Express your feelings, face your fears, set boundaries and develop integrity. Don't try to control the things out of your control. Be ready to walk away from circumstances and people. Don't try to make a bad relationship work. End it and find somebody more suitable for you. Boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. The common theme throughout the book is the importance of boundaries. As a recovering nice guy, this might be the most important factor, especially in relationships with women. Nice guys often believe that not having boundaries, being overly tolerant, and accepting everything his partner does is a beneficial strategy for a relationship. Nice guys often learn the hard way this isn't true. You need boundaries in order to strengthen the relationship. Is it a need for you or for her? Boundaries equal respect, and women desire a partner who sets boundaries. If a man stands up to his woman, he will stand up for his woman. Only when you have boundaries, a woman can feel safe in your presence. In order to evaluate if a boundary is necessary, apply the second date rule. Ask yourself, if this behavior would be appeared on a second date, would there be a third date? Just want to pause this summary and want to take a moment to say thank you for watching and listening to this summary. We've currently uploaded more than 600 free audio and written book summaries at bestbookbits.com. We'd love for you to become a fan of us at bestbookbits.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Spotify or wherever you listen to our podcast. You can also help keep Best Book Bits financially alive by checking out our products and services out in the links and show notes below, such as physical books, downloadable PDFs, subscribing to our newsletter, consuming our courses, and joining our coaching programs. Thanks again for being a fan, and on with the summary. 
the integrated male, and his women. Dr. Robert Glover gives many great tips about relationships, your own sexuality, and how to deal with women. You should focus on the relationship, not the partner. How does the relationship meet your needs? Ask yourself if your relationship is healthy. Can you learn from the situations of struggle? Use your boundaries to stop undesirable behaviors of your partner. In fact, you should avoid what nice guys do all too often. A nice guy often chooses a partner whose needs a lot of fixing. He's attracted to problems and wants to fix his partners, as this would give him an opportunity to show the world what a good boyfriend or husband he is, and to get approval. If you've ever been in an unhealthy relationship, you know how well this works. When it comes to sex, you will also have to change their mindset. This is easier said than done, but use the following guidelines as an orientation as your work on yourself to become an integrated male. Get rid of shame and fear about being sexual. Get your needs met, quality and quantity. Get comfortable being pleasured and ask for it. Never avoid conflicts because you are scared to lose a sexual opportunity. Get rid of porn. More bits of knowledge. You can apply everything you just learned to your daily life and even your job. Be fearless and know that you will be able to handle any situation. Take every chance to face fear and seek conflict in order to grow. Don't try to be perfect. Good enough is good enough. Identify how you sabotage yourself and ask for help if you need to. And that's wrapping the book summary of No More Mr. Nice Guy. If you want this summary via PDF, click the link below and we'll send this straight to you. Now, if you want to become a contributor to Best Book Bits, join the family and the community, help read books, create summaries, and do audio recordings. Email me at info at bestbookbits.com or DM me on Instagram at bestbookbits. You can also join our free book club at Facebook in the links below. And if you want me to do a book summary, comment, DM me, or hit me up through email. Thanks for watching and listening, and stop being Mr. Nice Guy. Take care. Bye-bye now.